Sometimes it overwhelms the senses and we can't identify it all. You give us so much in a world that seems to constantly be taking, stealing, conniving, even, oh God, threatening our very existence. And you carry us through. You carry us through the moments in which we are uncertain, in which we are afraid. You calm us in places we are anger, angry and anxious. You provide guidance when we are lost and uncertain. You are a God who is not merely the creator of light, but you provide it in the darkness. A darkness that can consume us, entomb us. And a loving God, give us no hope whatsoever. Loving God, you break through that darkness and you reveal your light. You reveal your glory. And we stop and give you thanks for that. For not giving up on us individually or as a people all these centuries for sending your Son and allowing us to experience your glory, to experience your presence, to experience and share your love with others. Loving God, this is not merely by accident, but it's because you want your presence and your love to be known throughout this world. So thank you for allowing us, O oh God, to be part of your calling to be part of your work to save and reconcile this world to you. We remember this morning the uncle of Rebecca and Brian Lyons. As he goes through this time, loving God, just be with him, watch over him, pour your strength and reveal your glory to him. Loving God, we remember the family of Ruth Goff, our dear sister who passed away this last week. Her family who came in from all four corners of the world to celebrate her life are now traveling home. Please watch over them so they can get there safely. We also remember Scott Johnson who is recovering from a fall in which he fell through a ceiling. Loving God, just be with him as his body heals and recovers. Loving God, remember Taylor Frank this morning, who has been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's disease. Watch over him, O oh God, as he goes through his plans of treatment. Allow the power of your glory, the power of your healing to be revealed to him through the doctors and the medical staff. Be with his family and friends as they journey with him through this time of infirmity. Let your light shine in this situation. We remember the family of Eric Schwartzenderber. Eric unexpectedly passed away recently, young. But the sickness in his body was just too much that he could handle. For a family that is still in shock, for friends that are beginning the journey of grief as they mourn, be with them, giving them hope, for there is now a void in their lives. And while there is nothing of this world that can fill that void, your love, your power can give them comfort and hope in knowing that one day they will see Eric again in your lovely embrace. And loving God, we ask this because we know that you are a God who, when we uplift and give our prayers to you, you hear us and you act. For loving God, you were able to watch over Lulu as she went through her decision, and we give you thanks that you are with her as she recovers. You are a God who does not forget. And you are a God who does not forsake. 
You are a God who is intentionally involved, very active, and seeking out to be there with us in our times of need. And you take those struggles, those fears, those uncertainties, and you make every one of them victorious. You revealed that victory as you resurrected your son from the tomb. A tomb that was supposed to be a final resting place. A tomb that was supposed to eradicate and remove the presence of our Savior from this world. To delete the message that you love us and you have a new way for us to come unto you. Through Jesus our Savior. Loving God, you did not let this tomb stop that. There's nothing. Nothing in this world you can't overcome. Nothing in our lives you cannot help us get through. Nothing, O oh God, can stop you. Because you are not only the God who created the heavens and the earth. You are the God who loves it. You are the God who watches over it. You are the God who is saving it. Thank you for saving us in that process, for remembering and wanting us to be part of that journey, to share that message with the world as we gather and worship this morning, celebrating the power of the resurrection, your son risen from that grave. We ask this all and celebrate this all in your son's precious and most holy name. Amen.